Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte? And today we're gonna be installing the Carismo carbon fiber stem wheel and Autotechnic paddles on my F90 M5. All right, let's get to it. Alright everyone, so here is the paddles by Auto Technic. These are going to look just like the ones that I had on my G80. So I really like those paddles, so I decided to go with these. And I'll be linking these down below. I have my discount code from Auto Technic pop right up on the screen. So if you guys are interested, you can save some money. So they have the back end just like they do on the G80. And then the carbon front. So I really like these paddles, so I was like, let me go with these on the F90 as well. So went with these. And then we also got the big boy right here, which is a steering wheel. Carismo did the steering wheel that was on my G80. So I decided to go back to these guys since they did such a good job on that. And they also got me the steering wheel on my F90, man. So this is going to be kind of similar to my F90, very similar. Um, so if you guys have seen that video, it is a very similar process. Um, but so I decided to go carbon with perforated leather and then Alcantara on the inside right here. So the reason why I went Alcantara on the inside right here because the headliner and the B pillars and A pillar in the F90 is Alcantara. So I said this would be a good time for me to try to try Alcantara on my actual uh, steering wheel. So this is in, this is in the area that I don't touch a lot, so I'm fine with it, it being Alcantara. I do not like this the side parts being Alcantara because you know my my hands can get a little sweaty and um yeah i just don't want that just the alcatara just isn't gonna last for me i know i know me i know myself alcatara just isn't gonna last if i gotta touch it every time i get in the car so i just that's why i always decide to go with the perforated leather and then of course we got the carbon fiber top with the uh, bmw m stitching so and the m stitching also right there so this wheel looks good the carbon weave looks good and um i'm ready to get this thing installed so let's go ahead and get to the install so first thing you want to do is unplug the battery because you're going to have to uh, pop off the airbag and you don't want the airbag to go off and hit you in the face so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then next time when you guys see me i'll be inside the car all right everyone so now that we're in the car to take the actual airbag off there should be an indention on this side of the steering wheel on this side and also on the other side so you'll need to take like a flathead screwdriver you will need to pierce the leather to uh, pop out the uh, airbag, which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, everyone, so after you do your puncture holes right here, um, you'll be able to get the airbag off. The airbag will pop off, just like you see right here. And then you see those plugs kind of right there. What you wanna do is uh, you'll be able to disconnect the airbag from that. So you kinda wanna get in there with like a flat head. And then you're gonna kinda wanna poke down on it and then it'll pull out kind of like kind of like like there oh and I did it all with one hand so it can be done so once you do that you get that out and then your airbag put this in a safe place all right so here is the inside of the actual steering wheel as you guys can see and just to kind of show you where those guide holes were I'm going to go back in the puncture holes and you can kind of see how it went it goes in there and you just kind of want to hit it on that side. You can kind of see I kind of was stabbing a few other things here. I was kind of all over the place trying to get this thing to work. But I was able to get it off. So that's good there. So now what we want to do is take the whole steering wheel off the column. So this is, you'll see this bolt right here. We're going to need to take this bolt off. Um, let's, I believe it is a 15 or 16 millimeter. But I am about to check. All right, so before you unplug this whole, before you take this bolt out and take the whole steering wheel off, you might as well go ahead and unplug this part too, so it won't be um, attached as well. So it's going to be the same thing. You want to kind of get underneath it, and then use a flathead to kind of pry it out, 
pry it loose. Just hit the little lever and then it should pull straight out. Um, then once you do that, we'll be able to take and then this plug down here as well. And then we'll be able to take this bolt out. All right, everyone. So I can confirm that this is a 16 millimeter. So I got a breaker bar because that just kind of helps to uh, get that off. Um, it does kind of help if you can hold the steering wheel and then turn it as well. So if you do have someone else that can help you, you can do that. I'm just going to hold it kind of with my knees um, and then turn it to get to break this bar loose. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And when I come back, the wheel should be off. One. All right. So now that I have the boat out, you should be able to just kind of pull on the wheel and get it off. And I probably need two hands. So let me uh, use both hands here and get that going. Yep, and it is off now. So now let's go ahead and put this on my bench and work on transferring the stuff that needs to be transferred over to the carbon wheel. So here are the two wheels right here. So what we're gonna need to do is transfer some, the internals on this wheel over to this wheel. So what we're gonna need to do first is kind of get in here and we're gonna need to take off a lot of this. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do first is probably take the paddles off. Um, which will probably be the easiest thing. So these little blue clips in here, you're gonna have to um, disengage those. And there's a couple of things in here you're gonna have to remove and maneuver over to this wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that first. First thing we're gonna do is remove the paddles. So I've already kind of removed this out of the way, but you guys can see this little blue connector right here. You'll just move that out of the way and there'll be a T20 right kind of in there. And it's the same thing on this other side. So we're gonna go ahead and get a T20 in there and remove the shift paddles first. All right, T20's out. And then boom, you see this kind of the um, paddle just kind of came right out right there. And this blue connector is kind of what holds it into place. This blue connector can be a little funny to get out. You just kind of have to take your time with it um, you just kind of want to get like something flat in there, kind of pry it a little bit and then you should be able to pull that right out to get the actual full panel off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side, get this paddle off, then I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So now the, uh, shift paddles are out and I'm going to be actually, as you guys know, moving to new shift paddles. So I'm just going to lay these to the side. Now the next part is going to be turning the wheel around and there's going to be three T20 screws, one right here one right here and one at the very bottom right in here so you'll need to use your uh, driver to take those out and then you'll be able to flip around hit these two clips right here and then you'll be able to take this face plate off this part down here is going to feel like it doesn't want to come out but it'll come out you just kind of have to wiggle it and work with it a little bit and you can get this whole face plate out once you do that so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now so i've already undone i've already undid all the screws in the back and this screw kind of wants to stay in place, but as you can kind of see down here, this is moving and it wants to come off. So we're good to go there. So now you'll see underneath here, you'll have these little clips. So you'll just need to kind of get something to wedge in there to pull these clips out. And then you can pull the full face plate off. All right. So after you get these two little clips going, you kind of want to wedge it open from that side kind of want to get this wedged and then the bottom wedge as well and you kind of just want to pull very very slowly this one actually slid back into place so let me pop this back out there we go this side wants to be they don't want to go anywhere so gotta kind of have to add a little finesse it'll come out Just kind of pull up. There we go. And boom, face plate is off. So there are some uh, wires in here that we will need to disconnect. Um, the heated steering wheel button will need to be disconnected and some other wires that is grouped down in here. So let's go ahead and go over those next. All right, so if you are reusing your stock face plate, which I am not, what you're gonna need to do is just unconnect the white uh, tab right there, 
white tab right there your ground wire which is on the inside right there um, and then also your M1 and M2 buttons which are held in by T20s at the very top and then you'll just transfer everything over to the new wheel and you're good to go um, as well as this uh, your vibration plate and all that you just need to just slowly start transferring stuff over but since I am re adding in a new faceplate which is carbon I want to disconnect everything from this and then I'll transfer everything over to this alright so that's what I'm gonna do now so I'm gonna disconnect all the connections to this actual faceplate that is to this steering wheel and then I'm gonna start transferring everything over all right so this is the back of the faceplate I took off the button here that controls the heated steering wheel like I said we will not be using that on the new uh, steering wheel you can't have a heated steering wheel with a carbon wheel so what I'm gonna do is I don't want to take all this apart you only want to take off what you need right because you're gonna be transferring over so the buttons and everything are staying we're just not gonna be taking the trim piece so that there is some T I think it's a, what is it a T8 there's some T8 screws seems to be three of them one two three on the back of this on both sides so I'm gonna go ahead and take those T8 screws out so I can pull this off and transfer it over to this all right and you can kind of look at this to kind of see what screws you need right because there's a screw here screw hole here screw hole here and screw hole here so that kind of matches up with that so that kind of gives you an indication that you don't need to take off those three screws on this side in order to get this to mount to it so I always like to look at what I'm gonna be putting the stuff on to kind of figure out what I need to transfer over so I'm gonna take out those three screws move it over to this and then when I come back all the buttons should be on the new piece all right so I got the buttons out and I decided before I put it on a new faceplate I want to go ahead and remove everything from here once I have it so I don't have to unplug any unnecessary things so you got some t20s right here you got your um, m1 and m2 buttons here so just go ahead and start transferring all the stuff over to the new wheel now that you have this wide open this kind of just pulls up and then you can see you got some plugs here no need to unplug anything you don't have to unplug just keep it all intact and move it over that's always the rule of thumb don't don't do too much work <laughs> you don't have to all right so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and when i come back we should have all this on the new wheel all right so now we're going to talk about the actual shift panels so i've already put this one together to kind of show you exactly what it should look like um, once it's installed so let me go ahead and take you through this process so what you want to do is grab the stock panel, which is right here. There's going to be a little push pin that you can push the little this push pin out, which is going to be right in here. So a little pin right there. So you want to take something like a little sharp pointy tool, kind of come in and you kind of just want to push it out. And sometimes you got to figure out which way is easier. Is it push easier to push down or push up? This one's easier to push down. So as you push it, you'll see this little pin will pop out. You'll take that out put that somewhere safe and then you should be able to lift this straight up now you'll have this piece right here you can lay this down to the side you'll have a spring which you will reuse and then you'll also have this little lever bar here a little pressure bar here so you'll need to reuse all that so now we're done with the stock paddle so now we'll go over to our new paddle you're going to take this mechanism right here and you're going to put this little uh, lever pressure lever right over that over those pads and then this spring is going to actually go right over that little cylinder there so now that you have this already the right side where it needs to go you're going to take this so you see these little nodules right here they're going to go in the little big holes on this side so they're going to go towards the side with the actual plug so you're going to lay it down kind of like so kind of push it in and then you you'll see like a little hole there and that's going to be where the push pin is going to have to go back in here to secure it. So you kind of want to hold it in a spot, get it in a good place. Take this push pin, kind of feed it through that hole. Boom. And your shift paddle is ready to go. And you'll feel that little click, kind of like the click you get when you hit the shift paddle. You'll feel it. So that's it. So it's pretty simple. And these shift paddles look great. And you can get these at Auto Technic. Link will be down below. All right, everyone. So now I have the wheel, and most of the internals are back on it, man. So uh, everything's looking really good. 
Um, I got everything kind of put back into a stock location that it was, the paddles, um, the, not the paddles, but the actual M1 and M2 buttons are there. Everything's been transferred over. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the paddles back in and then I'm gonna hook these up to the front, the new front plate. So the paddles go in the opposite way that they did before. You know, the way you took them out, you put them in the same way. So you feed it through this little hole, which is right here. Feed it through the little hole, put the T20 in to hold it in place, and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna put the paddles on, then I'm gonna put the front panel on, and then we'll be good to go. Um, like I said, the carbon steering wheel does not have the heating function. So you will have two plugs here that are exposed. I'm gonna wrap those properly in like electrical tape. So you will have this plug right here and that plug right here. They're not, you're not gonna use them on the carbon wheel because carbon wheels can't be heated. All right, so one thing I wanna talk about is you have to put the face plate back on before you get the paddles all the way on because this screw, these T20s in the back have to go on to attach to the face plate. And you can't get those on if you put the paddles all the way on first. You can't get access to them. So you do have to put the face plate back on first before you put the paddles all the way on. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like here. You guys can see it looks really good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the paddles back on and then we'll mount this back in the car and then we'll be good to go. All right, everyone, so now we are back in the car. So you'll see this little line right here on the um see if i can get close enough you'll see a little line right there and that line you have to line it up with the line that's inside of your wheel so you will see a line that's inside of the wheel at the very bottom and you'll just line those two up so kind of doing it here for you guys you line those wheels up you line those lines up not wheels <laughs> and then boom it will slide right on and then now at this point, everything's in here like it should be. I can go ahead and put these clips back into place. So boom, and this one goes here. And then the third clip that is right here that is missing, that is the one for the airbag. So now we're gonna go ahead and tighten this down. Um, go ahead and put that back in there. Then put the uh, airbag, airbag back on. And then when I come back, you'll see the finished product. Three, two, one. All right, everyone. So the steering wheel is installed. So giving y'all some different angles here. Carbon looking good. The Alcantara down here, matching the Alcantara on the roof and then the B pillars. So we are good to go, man. And then I did do the carbon fiber on the interior. That is from Auto Technic as well. Um, as well as these paddles, man. These paddles looking really good right here. Really liking them. Zoom in a little bit. Really liking it. And it looks good. So the wheel is from Carismo. I'll be linking them down below. The best way to get in contact with them is on Instagram. Um, they say they're still working on getting their website together. They the same people that built the wheel on my G80. Um, and the actual paddles, which are right here, they are actually from Auto Technic. So everything flowed well and fit well. So I'm happy with that. So what do you guys think down below? Let me know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. <laughs> you guys are seeing it. I'm beginning the video with some cinematics and I end it with a finished product. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like in here now. So that may be it for the in interior of the vehicle. Um, I may do a speaker upgrade. I uh, know I am going to do a speaker upgrade. So you have to stay tuned for that. Um, besides some Beamer code coding, that's probably going to be it for the inside of the car. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a like down below. And I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.